To sand your doll, what you'll need is a container with some water and then wet dry sandpaper of varying grits. This is some 3M wet or dry sandpaper and I cut it into little sections that are small, so these little squares, and then I write the grit on the back in a permanent marker so I know. And if your doll is really lumpy and bumpy, you can start with like 220 or 320. And then I have like 400, 600, 800. I actually have up to 1500 here, but you don't need that much. It just came in the kit that I got, so why not use it if it's there, right? So anyway, what you do is choose the grit you're going to begin with, and then you just dip the sandpaper in the water. I usually have a towel over my lap, and then set this dish down over my lap, and then um, just start sanding the doll. You can tell just by feeling that just after that much you already have quite a difference. And so since this doll is kind of lumpy, I'm going to use this lower grit, the 220, and just sand back and forth until I have most of those lumps gone. And then I'll just move up to the next grit. All right, so it's about 20 minutes later and I've gotten, I've just been using the most coarse, the 220 grit on this. And her legs are looking really good with it. Got all the lumpy bumpies off of them. And then when you do areas like the chest here, um, like I don't want to sand away the rib cage lines. And so like I just make sure and just use my finger and go on the top without really touching where that rib line is, is actually there. And then um, along the chest, just like this, I do it more sparingly with a the hot, the lower grit up here because I'll do that more with the 320 or the 400 to get the looking well. Same with under the breasts. And you want to be careful so you don't, you know, sand off the nipples or anything that you actually want there. When you're doing the arms, make sure that you are supporting anything that you're rubbing against like this. You always want to support the clay so you don't put any um, stress on it. The back's almost done. You can see the side is nice and smooth. The side still has a ways to go but it was terribly bumpy at first and all you have to do is sand it and make it look nice nice and smooth and pretty again. Here's a tip for the places that are hard to reach like underneath the arms. I'm taking a, a thin wood dowel. It could be a metal tool, anything that's going to be thin and you just put it into the sandpaper and then use that as your pressure. Just like that. So she has been through the 320 and the 220 grits. Um, after you do the 220 and then you're doing the 320, be sure you go over the entire body, even if that part isn't um, necessarily rough anymore, because what you're doing is changing the grit grooves that are on this doll from the 220 up to the 320, and then take it up to the 400, to the 600, and on up. So just make sure that with every, um, every sandpaper from here on out, you're going to go over every bit of her body, whether it's rough or not, because most times it's just going to be a little quick, quick run through, so it won't take very long anyway. But you want the grit grooves that have been left in the doll to get smaller and smaller and smaller. 